Okay, now that you guys have seen it running, I'll tell you the other couple modifications that I've done. So, I talked about on the drive on wood form, I was having issues with uh, the cutter was jumping outside of the groove that it was sitting in. So I added another layer of quarter inch. So now this groove is a, a half an inch deep. You can see my finger fits in it completely. Uh, that, uh, I, I don't know if it was helpful or not, but it's what I did. It seems to be working. If you've watched the other videos, it does chunk wood now. Uh, I was having issues with, when I was running it the other day, just on starting fluid, my belt alignment <clears throat> was tracking good on the tire, but I could see that the motor was torquing back and forth. Now I had already stipple welded my mount to tighten it up, but there was still enough slack in it that it was still allowing the motor to just ever so slightly move. And when it was at a low RPM, you could see it quite a bit. When it's in the high RPM, it smooths out and it doesn't shake as bad. So what I did there, I came underneath of the mount and right here you can see I welded two nuts together so that the threads are in alignment. Tack welded those two nuts underneath of the engine plate and a bolt underneath. So I can run that bolt down or up to actually change the pitch of the motor. And I did that on both sides so I could actually level the motor up and get it running true with the wheel and that made quite a bit of difference and the belt tracks much much better um, yesterday on my test run I heard a little bit of an exhaust leak and I figured it was this uh, gasket on the muffler mount because I had unbolted it flipped it around used the same gasket I didn't care if it leaked a little bit uh, it wasn't the gasket leaking it was because the muffler was promptly <laughs> breaking off so uh, that mount that was down here to that bolt appears to be quite essential so, yeah, it's a little bit loud now, but yeah, no big deal. Fix that later. For my fuel hookup, I went super simplistic. I took the air cleaner housing because I got the carburetor from my brother, hooked it all back up, uh, even hooked the governor back up. That's all put back together. Um, now, because this was off of a generator, it was meant to run either at idle or wide open. And it had a magnet switch over here that controlled the throttle. So instead, I just moved this throttle spring over to the governor arm, because the governor also, well, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right there, you can see the throttle blade. Yeah, like that. So I'm set up with the least amount of spring tension right now and it runs up to rpm just fine and the governor does still have just just a little bit of movement when it's running and that works out pretty good so now the carburetor is all hooked back up i took the air filter box the air cleaner is still in it the paper filter but what i did this is the brig style filter that has the um woven mesh on the back side i left the mesh in place and then i cut out all of the paper so it has a screen filter basically and I, I did that for running on wood gas if I have a chunk of char or something I don't suck it into the engine it just stops right there that also left me the gasket surface on both sides of that air filter so that this air box seals up nicely so now I've got a nice sealed up box but one problem I had underneath I think you can see it right there these holes that was the air intake. Maybe, maybe now you can see it, right here. That's the air intake for this thing previous. I took a piece of plastic, cut it out to where it fit inside of the box and siliconed it down in place. This fitting right here is a Harbor Freight quick connect for a garden hose. Popped a hole in the lid, siliconed it in place in the back. That way I can quick couple onto here with the garden hose for wood gas. <clears throat> and then I went old school choke style and just blew a hole with a little flapper that I can open and close to regulate my air. Very, very crude rudimentary system, but I just wanted to see if it was gonna work and it did run. I had other issues, but it did run. Um, and then this propane line, like I said, this is off of one of my 
propane powered generators and I just just barely crack the valve while I have it spinning over with the drill get it to pop and sputter take the drill off and then I'll open the propane just a little bit till it winds up I can leave this completely open so I'm breathing uh, this is a 3 8 ID line of propane and that is a 5 8 hole right there and it seems to run pretty good on propane that way so those are the other modifications I did um, like you saw in the last video I was actually chunking it without being hooked up on the truck and because it didn't stall I didn't have a flip over event I know that is going to happen if I chunk not hooked up to the truck um, but I did not drive the truck today because I was out of wood so drove my Dodge in and if I hook this up to the Dodge well uh, the Dodge hitch is like I don't know two feet off the ground so this thing would be sitting way back and be tail heavy and probably be doing a bunch of bouncing and yeah I'm just gonna chunk really small stuff today after work and then I'll have fuel to drive the Shavota in tomorrow and I will hitch it up and produce a whole bunch more fuel. At least enough that maybe this weekend I can go out on a little joyride. So other than that, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do to the chunker for now. The one other thing I'm going to do, I have the other brake rotor for this side, but I don't have any lug nuts to put it on. Um, that will end up going on. Two reasons, it's going to give me more weight for flywheel effect on the chunker, and it's also going to give me just a little bit more nose weight or, or uh, tongue weight for the trailer which i do want because it is very light without that rotor on there so that's the other things that i've changed i believe that will for this time being conclude the chunker build and uh yeah hopefully i can start making up a whole bunch of fuel i got one bag started over there that's half full just from my last video a couple pieces of pine i got three more four more bags right there that I'm hoping to fill up tonight and that will be enough fuel for tomorrow driving all the way here and all the way home and then while the truck is here I can have it hitched up and I will hopefully make up a whole bunch more fuel tomorrow night so yeah thanks for watching guys